Take a look at this. It's Cat High the Yearbook, and it stars some very interesting cats. Meet the graduating class of Cat High. There's Tiger O'Malley, the BCOC, big cat on campus. Eugene Fuzzarelli, the most persuasive cat around. Edsel Knudsen, the class nerd. And Cheryl Tiggs, definitely the cat's meow. This yearbook is filled with memories of the senior prom, the cheerleading squad, and the football team. Now there's a bunch of animals. Terry Gruber is the creator of this yearbook, and he attended over 250 cat shows across the country to find these furry felines. I would walk by a cage and look in and see a very sexy Angora cat, and I'd say, oh, what a good candidate for the homecoming queen. The principal was really uh, a find. He was a hairless cat, so I figured that had to be the principal. Cat High is a fictitious high school set in, believe it or not, Paw Paw, Michigan. And guess what? There really is a Paw Paw, Michigan. Well, I couldn't have invented it. I looked in the atlas, I saw Paw Paw, and thought there's no other name for Cat High's hometown than that. Now that Terry had the perfect location for Cat High, all he needed were the graduates. Cat owners fought like cats and dogs for the chance to have their pets in the yearbook. Terry, do you mean to tell me that you had people come from all over the country with their cats just to get them in this book? Several people drove seven hours. One person flew from Florida. Another person shipped their cat. People love their cats. They'll go to all lengths to get them in a book. Terry is the author of two other popular cat books, but this yearbook was his biggest challenge. Trying to get the cats to sit still and watch the birdie was a catastrophe, and they certainly didn't appreciate getting into costumes either. There was also the problem of coping with nervous cat owners. They would say to me, uh, my cat's a guy, you can't dress him in that dress. I don't want, you know, Rufus <laughs> to look like Cynthia, <laughs> you know. <laughs> now tell me, Terry, honestly, is one of the cats in this yearbook you? Uh, yes, my cat plays me. He's Mark Mice, and he's the yearbook editor. <laughs> The cats become human once you really see the book. The cats really do look like humans. We all remember teachers that look like this. And what about these troublemakers? They're probably the ones doing the catnip in the restrooms. Oh, and check out Miss Goody Two Paws. Isn't she something? Everyone who's ever been to high school will find at least one character in the yearbook they can recognize. This is Paw Paw High School, otherwise known as Cat High, and Terry has brought along a few of the props and costumes that the characters wore in the yearbook. How did you get the cats in these costumes? Well, as you can see, Curiosity killed the cats here. It's just a photo of her, but when we'd have the live cat, this would open up. Mm -hmm. Cat would be on a table. She'd stick her head through just like this right. and sit there just like that. Since this yearbook is so new, not many people in Paw Paw, Michigan have had a chance to see it yet. So we decided to surprise the students with Cat High. Oh, uh, that looks like Stu. Mr. Allen's our principal. He's a very nice guy, don't get me wrong. I still have to graduate this year. <laughs> kind of reminds me of us and what we do. Um, I'm left without words. What does that look like? Mr. Mikowski, the history teacher. It even says history teacher. Uh, I think it's great because I, I love cats and <laughs> they all look like people. What are yearbooks for but to capture memories? And these cats will be able to look back with fond memories of the graduating class of Cat High, 1984.